Hello, we are your friends from the Office of Early Childhood at the Mississippi Department of Education. I'm Oki, and I like to teach through song and play. I'm Candace. I like to pop in and help make activities easier. I'm Marissa, and I like to make learning fun. And this is the Mockingbird. He's going to come and tweet us through every lesson, and he's our state bird. And I'm Lemuel, and I love creating cool things with lots of fun stuff. Welcome, welcome, friends today. Friends that are near and far away. We will learn through meaningful play about our theme and question of the day. Welcome, welcome, friends today. Friends that are here and far away. Let's get ready to have some fun. Welcome, friends. I wonder what we're going to do today. Let's go visit the Mockingbird and see what he has tweeted us today. Why can't we hold on to shadows or reflections? Hmm. Have you ever seen your shadow and tried to catch it? Watch. I see my shadow on the, on the white wall and I go try to catch it and I can touch it. But I can't hold it in my hand because it's light that's reflecting. I'm going to invite my friend Candace up here and we're going to talk about our vocabulary words and we're going to learn more about why we can't hold on to shadows or reflections. Candace. Hi Marissa. Good morning. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. So we've kind of got a tricky question today. Oh, a tricky question. Yes. Mm. Why can't we hold on to shadows and reflections? Mm, we can't hold them question. in our hands. No, we can't. Hmm. So we're going we're gonna to talk about that throughout this episode and learn about that. Okay. So we've got our vocabulary words. This word right here is disappear. If you look at this picture, you can see the bridge right here, and then as it goes further back, it starts to disappear. Wow. It means go away. Oh. Hmm. This word right here is real. Real means not fake, or yes, not fake. Or not pretend. Not pretend. This is a real child. It's not pretend. He's my son. This word right here is ordinary. And I put a picture of vanilla mm. on just a plain cone because vanilla ice cream, there's nothing special about it. It's not like Superman ice cream that has different colors in it and it doesn't have swirls of flavor in it. It's just ordinary vanilla. Just but plain. still good. It is still good. And this word right here is search. Oh. And I thought this was a great picture of a boy searching. He's looking for something. Mm. Okay? So I know that you have some words that you want to share with us. I do. I'm going to teach you uh, some Spanish and some signs. So for our word disappear. Uh, yes. The Spanish word, it's kind of long. Okay. You ready? Yes. Desaparecer. Oh. That, I told you. Yes. Let's try it again. Okay. Desaparecer. Desaparecer. Yeah, it's a lot. That is a lot. <laughs> but it does sound kind of like disappear in English. It does. And the sign for disappear, mm -hmm. it's just like it sounds. You're going to hold this finger in okay. the middle of your other fingers. Okay. Oh. Uh -huh. And it's going to disappear. <gasps> Isn't that fun? <laughs> no, that one's easier than the Spanish. It is. You're going to hold your finger in the middle and then it disappears. Oh, I like that. Isn't that fun? Yes. It's like a magic trick. Uh-huh. And the other one I'm going to teach you is real. Real. And you know, we've talked about how sometimes the Spanish word is the same as the English word. Yes. Not very often, but sometimes. Sometimes it is. And mm -hmm. this time is one of those times. In Spanish, we say real. Real. Just like we do in English. Isn't that fun? Now that one is much easier. Much easier. Real. Uh -huh. And the sign for real, mm -hmm. you're going to put your finger right up here mm -hmm. and put point out. 
real. Real. Like it's real, it's true. It's true, it's not pretend. Right. Uh -huh. I guess like you're telling the truth. Oh, like it's real. Mm -hmm. I like that. Isn't that That neat? makes sense to mm -hmm. me. So Candace, Lemuel's got a great art project that he's going to share with us. And I know we're gonna talk about some of these vocabulary words. And then will you come back and play a vowel game with us? That sounds fun. Okay. I'll see you soon. All right, thanks Candace. Bye. So next, Lemuel's gonna join us, and I wonder what he has planned for us today. You know, our question is, why can't we hold on to shadows or reflections? Let's see, Lemuel. Hey, friend. Hey, artist friend. Hello, Lemuel. So, I'm gonna prove that you can hold on to your shadows. Oh, I wanna see how this works. Well, my artist friend, Heinz and I, we were able to capture our shadows. Oh. And we have evidence that you can hold on to them for a brief moment and document and capture them before they fade away. Okay. You want to see how we did it? I do. I want to see. All right. I got this great video for y'all. So, Hans, we have Mr. Lemuel here today and he has a fun art activity to do with you. Are you ready to do a fun art, art activity with some shadows? Yes! Okay, all right, so let's go have fun! Hey friends, I'm here with my friend Heinz and we're going to create some artwork inspired by shadows. So you ever heard that you can't catch your shadow? I thought, I believe we can. And this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, take your hand and go like this. Okay, now try to grab your shadow. I grabbed it. Grab it? Okay. Well, when you grab it, I'm going to you to, okay, I'm gonna see if we can capture it. So, oh, it went away. Why did it go away? Oh, your shadow covered it up. I'm too close to it. I'm too close to it. Maybe because it's more gold. Okay, so you take your hand and see if you can make a shadow where it shows on the paper. Can y'all see that from where y'all are? Oh, okay, I'm gonna lay down, okay. Raise it up a little bit more. Okay, now make a monster out of your hand. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Do you see? Okay, wait, okay, hold it still, and don't move. Stay still, don't move. All right, look. Look at that. That was your hand. Oh, did I capture the circle? Okay, now let's do a big one. Look at this. Can you see Mr. Lemuel? I want you to try to draw me. I like blue. Blue's my favorite color. Mine too. Oh, yours too? Because you have and a blue. my mom. Everybody. Okay, so I'm going to make a shadow and you're going to capture it by outlining it. Let's see. Can you draw me? <laughs> I have very little hands. So you're drawing around the outside of the shape. My fingers try to stay as close to the dark line. all the around the shadow. Okay, so you can start back at the top. I can only see barely. My knees spread out. I was gonna do one hand different, but you want to spread out, I'll spread it out. So I can rest this arm.
capturing my shadow by outlining it. Before it disappears. And you know the shadow looks very distorted is because the sun, the light is really low. If it was up higher, I bet you it would be shorter. Oh, I need to be still. <laughs> the hard part is being very still. I think it's Okay, you gotta do my hair, my head. Really? Really? I have to do everything? Yeah, like you gotta do like my hair. Like you're freezing? Yes, like I'm freezing. Can I just do your hat? Uh, no, I want my whole head. I want it connected to my body, too. Because it's going to look so cool when you finish. Oh, okay, we missed one line. Right here. Right here, my shoulder. This part. See right here. This one? <laughs> Isn't that fun, y'all? No, right. Look, my neck. Right there. That line. There's no line. Yes. Connect it to over here. <laughs> okay. Yep. Stand over here where you're not in the shed. <laughs> I like that. I got my eyes and my nose and my mouth. This is Wait. so cool. You're making me look scary. <laughs> look how long your head is going to be. Are right, you ready? All right, you're going to hold your hands. Right, ready? draw your face okay you can't draw your face and uh, this is how you capture your shadows you get someone to outline it. so we proved that you can capture your shadow before it's gone forever what do you think Heinz mm -hmm. did we do it mm -hmm. say bye to everybody bye so Marissa you saw that you really can't hold on to your shadow but I think Heinz and I did a great job capturing it. Mm -hmm. And we have evidence of how we captured our shadow before it went away. Yes. So this is the drawing that Heinz did of me. Look at that. That is really cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> I see the details he added up here. here. That was after, so you can yes. add lots of details, uh -huh. but you can see how he captured my hands and arms and head, and the shadow is uh, distorted because of the way the light is hitting it. Mm -hmm. And then this right here is mine, where I drew, and then he went back and added. Again, <clears throat> your shadows are, um, depending on the way the light is hitting it, could mm -hmm. be real distorted or it could have some sharp edges. Mm -hmm. Those are his buttons on his jacket that he added. And you know where you can't see the details, but uh, we added details after. So you can really have some fun with it and make your shadow come alive. Mm -hmm. So let me show you how we did that. Okay. All right. And so you can do this at home inside. And you also can do it outside on the sidewalk with chalk. Oh, yes. And you can do that with your friends because that makes it more fun. As you can see, Heinz and I had a great, mm -hmm. great time. So I have some objects here that I'm going to put around. 
Mm -hmm. And you can see how the light, now we have light coming in this direction, but you could use a flashlight, remember hold it out? Yes. So you get a sharper edge. If you hold it too close, I've learned that it fades away. Yeah. So you want to hold it out like They're that. They're kind of, shadows are kind of tricky. It is. So you can't hold on to the shadow, but you can capture it. And so you take your time and you can draw around and you have to change angles because, see, I've blocked out the shadow because mm. I'm standing in front of it. And this shadow is making like two different ones. It's casting two because of the different angles of the light. Mm -hmm. That's because there's two lights shining on us. It's two big bright lights. Right. Uh, this one's a fun one. It's got a lot of zigzag and curvy and diagonal and wavy and pointed lines. It's a dinosaur. And so when artists, when they're drawing or painting theirs, they are searching and looking for the different shadows that are cast mm -hmm. on the object. And then when I remove these, <gasps> the shadows disappear. They disappear, but I've captured the outline of them. Oh, I bet the children could try this at home by taking a paper outside, like you said. Yes, and you can use, um, you can have a friend, and you can take turns changing and drawing each other, mm -hmm. and you can just set up objects. Oh, what really would be cool is use some of your to uh, toys outside, like mm -hmm. your bicycle and other objects to see how the shadow is distorted. Yes. And when we did ours, we waited kind of late in the evening, so mm -hmm. you might want to do it afternoon mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. early morning because if the shadow is shining directly on top, you're not going to have a big shadow. Oh, well. So it's all about the angle mm -hmm. and the direction of the light source. Lemuel, thank you so much for showing us how to trace our shadow and actually catch our shadow because we really can't catch it, but you showed us a tricky way that we could. You can. So happy capturing shadows. All right. Thanks, Bye. Lemuel. Bye-bye. So I'm going to invite my friend Candace back on. And there's something else that's kind of tricky I'm going to need her help with. Hi. Hi, Candace. We captured shadows. Wow. We really caught them on paper. I see. I'm going to put this over here to the side. And I'll learn during that talk with Lemuel that shadows are kind of tricky. Mm -hmm. And it depends on where the light is. Sometimes the shadow can be big, depending on how close you are to the light. Sometimes the shadow disappears if, some, if an object's blocking. Wow. And that made me think of letters. Letters? Yes. Okay. So letters, like the alphabet, they have many sounds. Um, for example, the letter B makes a B sound, mm -hmm. and the letter C makes a K sound. And sometimes as we get older, we learn that there's different rules for letters and that they have different meaning or that the rules ha play different games with the letters. Mm -hmm. But today we're going to talk about vowels. Oh, we're not going to talk about rules, but okay. we're going to talk about vowels. And sometimes a vowel will say his name. Oh, well, how do you know which letters are vowels? Well, the vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Oh. Yes. And sometimes Y. Oh. But we really focus on those, on those five vowels. And when the children get older, they will learn about the vowels. Wow. But today we're going to hear that the vowels will sometimes say their name. Oh. So we're going to, let's look at this right here. This is a picture of rain. Mm -hmm. And I wrote the letter A in red because when we say rain, 
I hear the A. I hear it too. Rain. That vowel says his name A. Now I have another one. I'm going to move this one up. Candace, do you know what this is a picture of? I do. That is snow. And snow, do you hear the O? He says his name. I hear it when you say snow. Snow. That's a long vowel. The O says his name. This is another picture of A. What is that? Oh, that's a kite. A kite. And kite has the vowel I. And I says his name. Kite. I hear it. Good. Here's another one. Unicorn. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Wow. And unicorn, the U says his name. Unicorn. And finally, we have tree. Tree says E at the end. It sure does. Tree. So I think the children at home, when they're saying their words and they hear a word, I bet they could hear if the vowel makes a long vowel sound and says his name. What do you think? I think they could practice that at home. I think they could too. So let's take a minute and let's reflect back on what we've talked about today. Our question was, why can't we hold on to shadows or reflections? Mm. And we talked about our vocabulary words and shadows disappear sometimes and we need real objects and we see real objects in our reflection. We talked about ordinary. Sometimes I see an ordinary shadow just right behind you, Candace. Oh. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have to search. We have to search for which way the light is shining and which oh. way our shadow is going. Then you taught us some Spanish and sign language. I did. We learned desaparecer. Desaparecer. And we learned the sign where we put our finger in the middle of our other hand and whoop, it disappears. Disappears. <laughs> I like that. We also learned real. Mm -hmm. And it's the same in Spanish as it is in English. We just say real. Real. And the sign for real, we're going to put our finger to our chin and push it out. Push it out. Like we're telling the truth. That's mm -hmm. real. Real. And then Lemuel showed a video of him and Hines actually capturing his shadow wow. the way an artist would. Oh. And that was so cool. They talk, He talked about tracing the lines and how it made just an ordinary shape. And wow. um, we used real people during that time. And then we talked about our vowels and how they sometimes say their name. I have this picture I want to share with everyone. Oh, great. So I went to the beach. <gasps> Wow. And if you notice, there's a reflection in the water. The water's kind of smooth. Wow. And it's showing the sun reflecting off the water. Isn't that amazing? And if we were to go touch it, we would not be able to hold that reflection. No, we wouldn't. Because the reflection is just the image of light. Wow. I challenge the children at home. I wonder if they can trace shadows, take some toys outside. I wonder if they can hear some long vowels mm -hmm. and maybe do your signs in sign language. They can do it. I think they can. Until next time, farewell. farewell. Friends, we hope you had fun today. Please join us again for some more adventures next time. For more family enrichment activities, visit our website at mdek one two dot o-r-g slash e-c. Farewell, farewell friends today, friends that are here and far away. We have learned a lot through play about our theme and question of the day. Farewell, farewell friends today, it's time to go till another day.